everyone. Welcome back to the channel. This is episode six. The last one of the year. I'm Melissa. And I'm Mia. Today's episode is on her one mistake. We have a lot to say. By Miss Heidi Perks. By Miss Heidi Perks. We have we a, lot have a lot, to lot to say. Um, initial rating. You know what? Hmm. Can this be my first five? I liked it. I... Oh, in your top five? Not in my top five, but like my first like full five star rating because I liked it. Okay, yeah. I feel like just from the like first <clears throat> comment I have to make is how short each of their sections were. Mm hmm made me want to be like, okay, I need to keep reading, I need to keep reading, because mm -hmm. I need to know what's happening in mm -hmm. the now, the before, the I liked to, story. Yeah, I liked, too, that we did the now and before, and it would they were almost so close together. Like, I could feel yeah. them getting closer and closer to the present, and I really liked that. It made me anxious, and yeah. I was really excited to keep reading. Yeah. Okay, what's your rating? I honestly give it a five. <gasps> I have no complaints. I really liked this wow. book. A five, two. Wow. Yeah. I like this book, however. I do have a lot of comments to make. Specifically just about, not even just about, but mainly their friendship was super weird to me. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Because at first, I was like, okay, Charlotte is pissing me off because... She's just that friend that I want to talk about all about me. Me, yeah. My life, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care about what's going on in your life. Not so much or I don't even, care, but I don't like, even care to ask. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're not telling me, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find to out ask. what's yeah. happening in your life, exactly. how you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then she kind of had this, like, um, like, just complex where she was just like, I am better. Like, she's my poor little friend. Oh, yeah. And like, I took her under my yeah, wing. Yeah, I took her under my wing. I think she even says yeah, that. Or Tom says that. says that to her. Uh, Tom, Tom called her a passion that. project. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, Yeah, okay. and it's like, she's your best friend, but you're going to think about her that way, and you're going to let your ex-husband think about her that way. Well, not even, maybe not him think about her that way, but you're showing me that's what she is to you. Yeah. So. But, I mean, like, if anybody were to say that to me, I'd be like, first of all, fuck you. That's my best friend. Yeah. To me, it was still very one-sided all the way to the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was going to be my comment, too, at the end. Ah, I don't want to say it because it's literally the ending. Yeah. But my last comment ever was, can we talk about how Charlotte is, like, being a bitch? Oh, Yeah. Like, yes, you have every right to be angry. You have mm -hmm. every right to be like, why would you put me through why that? Why would you why? do that to Like, me? you could have at least told me and I would have been like, That okay. was my first thing is that I'm very much so more angry that you didn't, didn't tell me. me because I, I would have gone, gone with it. I would have gone with it. I'd be like, fuck, I lost your kid. Like, yeah, this, like, this, and that. Yeah, yeah. I'll play it up. I will win an Oscar, okay? No, yes, because To make very, sure that you get away. It's so ugly for me to say, but it would be very easy for me to be like, I can pretend I lost Alyssa's kid. Like, I, I can play it off. Like, I because I would just think I did. Like, I. No, like, no. <laughs> oh my god. No, no I just but think, no. Like, I would be like, okay, I'm going to put my head in that mindset. Yeah. And I'd be like, Alyssa's kid is gone. He's the gone. police are here. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'd be very. I, like, that would just be my only issue. That would be why I was angry. You didn't tell me. I would have went along with it. I don't care about the yeah. backlash from anybody care. else. No. I don't care. As long as I know that your kid's safe. Yeah. Yes. Then I would have done it, yeah. That was my only... But I she very... She made it very, like, you didn't think about my feelings. When you were no. in an abusive relationship, fuck my feelings. That's what I was gonna say. Even though, even though that it's like, okay, yeah, that sucks. Like, you didn't tell me. I'm still gonna be like, I'm okay with it because... This is so You much were worse. in the shit. Yeah. You were in the shit. Exactly. You were in it. You were being abused, like, manipulated. He was making you go crazy, baby. I would have thought... Another comment, please. Okay. So easy for someone to make me think I'm going crazy. Oh my god. I feel like... Can we talk about something really quick? Yeah. I, for a second, I was very mad. Not very mad, but I was just frustrated mm -hmm. with Harriet because I was like... This has gone too far. He is yeah. dead ass manipulating you. Like, how are you not like seeing, seeing it? it? Yeah. What did it for me was when they were talking in the kitchen and he was like, I'll make you some toast. And she was like, I'm not hungry. Yeah. She's like, oh, he's like, I'll put a lot of honey on it. And he, she was like, I, he knows that I don't like honey. And then I don't know what the conversation ends up being, but he throws the toast in the sink and is like, then why did you ask me to make you this toast? Yeah. Exploded at that. That would have been my tipping point because I was like, I didn't ask you that. But the way she did it was super smart, though, because when you think about it, she did have a kid, and if he had yeah. all these other like people that he would tell just in passing, like, mm -hmm. oh, oh my the god, doctor? Alyssa, 
Yeah, yeah. The doctor, first of all, he didn't even want her to talk to the doctor. But if I was the doctor, being a professional, I'd be like, she's my patient. And I want I'm her to talk speak. to her. I'm going to talk to her. Yeah. But I know it's a book, and if that would have happened, then you know. But he has the doctor. He has so many in passings, like, oh my god, I lost I forgot to put her shoes on the da da da. You mm-hmm. know, like. It was the little, little thing. Yeah. Too. So people like, would well, just be like, oh yeah. Yeah. When he told um, Charlotte that she left Alice in the car when she went to go renew her passport. Yes! Uh, and Angela's like, she never she had, had a passport. passport. Yeah. I know Charlotte obviously got it there because she even mumbled the words herself. Mm-hmm. But even then I would be like, fuck this guy. And I thought that Charlotte was going to be there in time before he killed the dad. Me too! RP, I and felt like, so beat the so fuck out of him. I thought too. it was a pretty little, a pretty little, what is it? Big Little Lies. Oh, I never watched that show. <gasps> but I saw the ending scene. Shut I never up! Wa- no, I know! I ruined it for myself. I ruined it for... They pushed him over the cliff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or the, like, stair thingy. Or the stairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Same thing. Harriet obviously put Charlotte on this, like, pedestal. Yeah. And was very, like, she has a perfect life, and she could divorce her husband and be completely fine, and Mm -hmm. she could... I think she literally even says that at the end. She was like, I was jealous of you, or whatever. You could just leave your husband. Yeah. Like, it didn't work out for you guys, and that was it. Yeah. It it was clean, and that was it. Mm -hmm. I think for Harriet, or no, no, for Charlotte, she knew that Harriet put her on a pedestal, but I think for her it was different because she was like, oh, she puts me on a pedestal because I have a bigger house. Yeah. Because I have eh, yeah, yeah. this material things. Mm-hmm. When she made that comment where she was like, the next time, the first time I went to her house, was it the first and last time she went to her house? Okay, Harriet's remember. house. Because they always went to Charlotte's house. Yeah. Anyway, she made a comment saying, like, I found myself saying, like, oh, there's a crack in the wall. Or, there's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty part here, whatever. And it's like, you, you don't have to do Yeah, you that. don't have to do that. <laughs> don't be. It's very ugly. Yeah. But I also see where Charlotte was coming from. She's like, she just didn't want to tell me those things. And I didn't want her, like, didn't want to force her to tell her things. But I would have also just been more willing and wanting to know about what's happening in my best friend's life. I would have been like, okay, we don't have to talk about the, like, abuse, but, like, what's yeah. up? Do you like your husband? Do you not? Because I hate my ex-husband, you know? <laughs> He's so an tell- ass. Like, yeah. Yeah. I don't like Charlotte. I didn't like her at all. Even up until the end, she was still making it about her. her. And she had the audacity to ask Harriet what happened on the boat. I wouldn't have given a shit if That's- they threw him off. I literally said. She should have assumed that she killed him and didn't care. She should have just not exactly. cared. No, I would have been I like, have cared. I it, know you threw his ass off because I know you could swim, and mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck. No. Yeah, and what difference does it make to me? Like, not a damn thing. Not <laughs> a damn thing. And her being like, my life is so different. Yeah, because all these people judged you, but, like, they're your friends again because they're fake, and they were fake from the beginning, mm-hmm. so who cares? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Who cares? Where Harriet had no one. She no literally one. just had Charlotte. Yeah. Which wasn't even her own doing. It was literally her husband that, like, watched out who she was friends with. And kind of, literally, he pulled her away from her other friends. Mm -hmm. He pulled her away from just being around people where she could, like, let herself go. Yeah. So. Or, like, just, he was just scared that she was going to tell them. Yeah. I don't like my husband. (laughs) Even the, one of the last friends she had in the town that they had lived in before that saw right through his bullshit. Was it Jane? Is that, her, is that her name? I don't know. But yeah. Like that. yeah. But she was like, Haha, you're not happy, baby. But that's okay. We can pretend. We can. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play a pretend game. <laughs> um, so at some point, very, very early in the investigation, like I think there had barely gotten, or Harriet had barely gotten to her house. Mm-hmm. Um, they're sitting and talking with the detectives on the couch. Okay. And it says, Brian's body was hard and heavy and uncomfortably close against Harriet. She could feel his tightness of his muscles. Fear seeped out of him and bled into her until she wanted to move away so she didn't have to feel it. Every so often, his eyes glanced toward her. She knew there was something he needed to get off his chest. And at this point in the book, I, for some reason, thought he was having an affair. Yeah. And for some reason, they talked about... I think one of the detectives asked them, how well do you know um, Charlotte? Mm -hmm. And he tenses up right next to her. So that's why I thought they were having an affair and they did it together. I was like, I thought they, oh wait, I didn't think that they stole her together. But I thought that they were having an affair actually now that you said that. 
when, oh God, when did it happen? When one of the detectives was like, how many times did you see Brian? And she was like, just the one time. Yeah. And then she was like, oh, twice. And twice. twice. Just kidding. Yeah. I was like, I was like, <gasps> Sam, do what? Which? <laughs> do where? Exactly. Where? What? When? when? Who? How? Brian. Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. I thought maybe they not had done it together, but like she did it out of spite or something. She mm-hmm. lost her on purpose so that she could keep Brian because her marriage also was like not. What? What? Yeah, I thought that's how that was going to go. No, that didn't even cross my mind. Oh and my god, that's crazy. Then my other theory, which got quickly disproven because I was like, this, uh, no, this doesn't make too many sense. I thought Harriet was like actually like schizophrenic or that everyone was pretending that they had a child just to like keep her like just I don't know to keep her maybe she had like postnatal like whatever they lost oh. the baby and so they're just doing it to appease her but then I was like not too many people have interacted with this child and that doesn't make any sense yeah and also the so. police would be like baby your kid isn't real we're not wasting time on this I'm sorry literally yeah oh how soon did you realize that the dad was alive um when she I didn't realize that quickly mm. but I did realize when she was saying like um when he took her when he took her i made a joke and i was like oh was it the waiter at their wedding but i was like no it's Uh, my dad (laughs) that would have been funny actually i'd have been like oh she was looking at him just looking at him but now he's just gonna fucking clown but um (laughs) yeah yeah. when brian they were getting questioned or whatever Mm -hmm. and angela was like you've never left alice with anybody Mm -hmm. um brian was like Harriet doesn't need to leave her with anyone. She's a full-time mom. Mm -hmm. I was looking at him because I feel like he did it because he found out somehow that it was her first time leaving her by herself or with somebody else, like Mm -hmm. being babysat, whatever, and was just doing it just to be angry because it was like, fuck you, you lost my kid for the first time you, like, let somebody else watch Oh, I felt that he was doing that too. Really? Yeah. I was like, okay, fuck this man. Yeah, I was like, fuck you. Like, this is... This is, like, this is any parent's worst fear. I'm assuming because of how much time that you spend with your kid as a newborn, like, when it first comes to leaving them with somebody else, Mm. you're like, so many things can go wrong, for one, two, I don't want to leave my kid because it's just been me and them for so long. And then this happens? Yeah. Like, I would die. I would explode. Which, I don't want to say this, but I'm gonna say it. I feel like losing somebody else's child is so much worse than losing your own child. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> Somebody even asks her, asks Charlotte that, one of the neighbors or something. No, she said, like, aren't you glad it wasn't yours? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, no! No, because if it was my kid, I would just feel that guilt Me. and that angry and that sadness and that Me, everything. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But no, I feel so much more because it wasn't even my kid. And yeah, my three kids are perfectly fine. fine. Yeah. But I, it's, I just feel so much more guilty because they're not my kid. Mm-hmm. So that, no, that was worse. That was worse. And I felt so bad that everyone was just being a bitch to her about that. Like, that was mm-hmm. the one thing because it was like, she has three fucking kids. And first of all, I would feel so bad even more because she was like, of course I can watch her. Like, of course it's no problem. Yeah. Like, I have three fucking kids of my own. One more kid isn't going to do a damn thing. Mm-hmm. That reminded me of something else, though. What? Very beginning of the book, when they go to the fair and stuff like that, and she's talking about how all the kids are needing something different. One of them is crying. One has to go to the restroom. Mm-hmm. One is like, can we go get on this ride? This, this, and that. Mm-hmm. In my head, because I already knew it was coming, basically, I was like, this is where she's about to lose her. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. Three kids. Already insane amount of kids, okay? Mm-hmm. You got to deal with 18 different things. Four kids. One of them being a kid that is not mine, mm-hmm. I don't know if I could have done that day by myself. Very valid, but I also feel like just parents that have three kids are like, what's a fucking fourth kid? And I do this every day and I balance them and that's just fair. what I do. Yeah. And they're also at a school fair, not to be like, things don't happen in a school fair, but there's other parents that are like, oh, Josh is right there, go get him or whatever, you're very, you know? Like, you're very right everyone's watching out for each other's kids and it's just when I take a second to breathe and look at my phone because my other kid is sitting here watching The Magician or whatever the fuck Mm -hmm. and I could still see I could see the jungle run it's not that like I wasn't close to them they weren't a mile away I could see the jungle run I just couldn't see them get on it Mm because it was through the back like Mm -hmm. and then I feel like if I'm looking up from my phone every so often and I see one of the kids and I'm like oh the other ones are close behind right behind yeah but I don't know, because my anxiety, I'm like, when I'm watching something, I'm like, mm. Mm. 
Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like I'm looking, I'm looking up more than I'm looking at my phone. Like, just put that shit away. Like, <laughs> I was like, I'm not even. Yeah. I don't even know why I'm trying to do things at two time at the same time because yeah. I'm more focused on them than yeah. I am on this stupid phone. And it would be like every three seconds I see one kid, two, three, kid, three <laughs> kid, and yeah, then I look like, back down, yeah. then I see the other. You know, like yeah. I wouldn't do that, but I also just know that parents do do that. Mm-hmm. Like it's just a thing, and I just feel like. That's Especially because she was already so accustomed to three children. Like, I know what I'm doing at this point. Yes, yeah. it gets tough. Yes, it's too much sometimes. But that's understandable. There are three children. Yeah. So four, I get it. Yeah, like, I was looking at my phone. But it's because I've, like, I already have, like, I know what I'm doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. People were just being bitches. Like, yeah. it could happen to you. <laughs> no. That's <laughs> fucked up, but it no, could. But yeah. Like, no, yeah. We touched God, on this a little bit. literally just going over this. We should read the questions before we just start talking. Because yeah. We, we just answered about this. this literally just now. I don't think she was deserving it. No. Hate. No. Because it was like, I'm still watching the kids. I can still see the jungle run. You know, I didn't see Alice. That sounds so fucked up. But I just assumed. That she was what? right behind my children. Speaking of... When she was blaming her kids, I feel like I would have done the same thing, even though I know that's wrong, even though I know ultimately it's her mm-hmm. fault if Alice did get lost. I would have been like, she was with you, what like, you, you didn't like, see you, her, you like, isn't she supposed yeah. to be with you guys? You're older, like, you, that sounds so fucked up, but I just feel like us also being the older siblings, we also are the bitches that are looking out, so yeah. if Emmy wasn't behind me, I'd be like, what? mom, where the fuck is she? Like, yeah. But she did apologize right away, which was good. Yeah. Cause. I thought she was gonna I thought it was gonna be an unspoken thing. And I was like, don't put that on them. Don't yeah, you yeah, put yeah. that on them. Cause they will literally remember that. They're like, fuck, I lost a kid. Last <laughs> <laughs> six year old, I lost a kid. <laughs> well <laughs> why would you watch him though? He did oh. he weren't did your job. I felt that it was a little much, mm-hmm. but when they explained that, like that's how her mom was. Yeah, it made a lot of sense. Yeah, <clears throat> and also I just feel like she was even more like Alice is the only thing I have in my life because she hates her fucking husband, and that's a yeah. lot to put on a kid. Yeah. yeah, but it's like you're my only joy. Mm-hmm. I hate my life. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, but literally, like I, well, that sucks. I'm not happy. And whenever I look at you, like you're my light and joy. Like I, this, <laughs> we're in this together. I would like, damn, mom. <laughs> I wouldn't tell my kid that, that but like, you. I would tell them when they I got a life. <laughs> my four year old, I got a life. I got a life, mom. Mom. I got a life, mommy. <laughs> I have. I had a thought I was gonna bring up too about the old British thing. Oh, when God. they were gonna call nine one one, they called nine one one. Is it like nine nine nine? One one. It was one one nine. I think or something. No, it said nine one one. I was like, this is not America. This is the British. It shouldn't be nine nine nine. Or 112 or whatever their number is. There's like two of them. It literally said 911. Yes, because I was like, this is. <laughs> <laughs> they're from not here. And it's not 911. I didn't notice that. I swear to God, it was something else. No, I did, because I was like. <laughs> <laughs> that don't make no sense. They're going to no call sense. America. <laughs> oh. Wait, she called the Coast Guard. <laughs> No, she didn't think to call the ghost guard. She just called the police and the fire department. But she called the American police and the American fire department. <laughs> uh, and they still came. And they did. They did still come. God good. bless. Oh, my God. <laughs> Imagine I'm wrong. I wouldn't put it past But you. no, I know that that's what she <laughs> said. Gaslighting. You're gaslighting me. Because <laughs> I I'm know sorry. she said that. Because <sighs> I saw it with my own two eyes. <sighs> But I don't know. They cannot be trusted. Okay. <laughs> how, am I, how am I gaslighting you Let's guys? just look it up. Can we talk about Harry having another baby? Um. Did you know she was pregnant? No, I didn't at all. Not until mm. they said You either? No, I didn't either. Until Angela said that. One line in her journal or her diary or whatever. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't catch that. I didn't catch that all. What I was going to say was at... Pretty much, I want to say the halfway point, if not a little bit before or after the halfway point, we know what happens. Okay. Like when Harriet sits down and she's telling she's us, like, she, I'm the one that planned this. I did this. Ah, uh, it was me. Um, I it was me. I wanted you to. Shut up. Shut up. 
<laughs> you said it. Okay. When she says it was me that planned this, mm-hmm. I thought about then she was gone and how we knew pretty much everything that happened, like, way in the beginning of the book. This book, I really still good. felt intrigued to keep reading. But we were just still learning new information, and that's what I mean when... That's true. And then she was gone. We just had all the information. We weren't learning new things. We weren't getting a new perspective. We weren't... Well, I wouldn't say that we were learning new things in this one, though. Like, we kind of already know, I guess, specifics. Like, it was her dad that took her. We find that out a little later. But I think we were learning information more so as, like, what their relationship entailed, if that makes any sense. Like, between her and Brian. Okay. But I was still, like, intrigued. I wanted to keep reading. I wanted to keep, like, turning pages and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Whereas with Then She Was Gone, I felt more like, you're not giving me anything new, though. Yeah. Like, you are learning. We are learning new things. But it's nothing, like, crazy. It's because it happened out of, like, nowhere. So that's what Alice was trying to convey. hmm Just... Oh my god, my kid's missing. Just like that little boy was missing. But and you guys still haven't found anything on him. Yeah. Like, are these related? Yeah. It was crazy that they found his body, though. I was sad about that. No, I was sad about that, but they found it, like, at the right timing where mm-hmm. I was like, shit, did some, like, serial killer did just take Alice? Yeah. I like that she included that because <laughs> they, it was very, it threw me off from yeah, even like, suspecting Was Harriet. he just tired of this little boy and then got a little girl and was like, mm-hmm. dead. That sounds so fucked up, but you know. But dead. I don't know what I mean. New one. I, for one, think that, yeah, I would be angry because, one, he was obviously making it seem like I don't really know her, Mm -hmm. whatever, and it's the one time you let her watch our daughter. Mm -hmm. Like, the one time that our daughter is out of your eyesight, she gets stolen, and it's because of your friend, which you also told me that she lost her own son Mm -hmm. before, I would be super pissed. So it is justifiable. Yeah. Yeah. This is even before we even know anything about him. Like, I think his yeah. anger is kind of rightly placed. Yeah. Because I, I know I would be. Yeah, and he just seemed like he was being a good husband. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. that's, that sounds scary, though, like, mm-hmm. to know that somebody could just be very good at acting and being, like... That's what I'm telling life. you. When, <clears throat> when he said kind of, like, the whole thing about, did you remember to take your medication... I was like, oh, fuck. Like, Alice ain't even real. Like, she's literally, like, she's she's mentally ill. Like, what the hell? But, no. He was just, he had me believe in them. How did I forget about this whole theory, though? I didn't think that Alice was crazy. I mean, I guess I did think Alice was crazy. You mean Harriet? She was crazy. Oh, Harriet. (laughs) The little baby. (laughs) The little girl. I thought that she, like, took her and killed her. (gasps) <gasps> and didn't know, like, didn't remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that, too. I was like, she'd be forgetting everything. Like, what if she, like, forgot her actually somewhere? Like, what if she did take her and was like, we're going home now, but then she blacked out or something and left something, her somewhere? Yeah, anything. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, I didn't, like, mean, like, murder, but, like, accidentally. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think she was capable of actually hurting her. Yeah, no. Yeah. And then I did think that the dad took her. Mm-hmm. And I know I said this already, but because we read Pretty Girls, mm-hmm. I was thinking some crazy shit. Oh. Because he was like, that's my alibi or whatever. And then the guy was like, I don't remember saying you. Like, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. And because he never brought up anybody who goes fishing with. And he was like, you know that guy. And then she was like, no, I don't. Oh, so I was like, he did something to this little girl. Yeah. He sold her. He did yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> At some point, too, I thought... Um, I don't remember what exactly in the book gave me, like, this um, idea, mm-hmm. but I thought at some point Harriet's dad and Brian were in on it together. Like, I thought they, like, I thought that her dad was like, no, you're crazy, and took Alice from her and was going to give her to Brian. Stop. Because I thought that they all just, like, he had convinced her dad that she wasn't even, like... When? I don't, I, fuck, I don't remember at what point in the book that I was, like, they're in on this together. Oh, can we, oh, I don't know if there's a question about the dad, though, but I want to talk about the dad because... Just talk about it. (laughs) Just, I think that he was such a good dad despite, like, leaving. Like, when he came back, he just gave her all those memories of, like... You're with my kid. But I also, if I was her, I would be like, 
but you're doing that for my kid, but you can't be you there. Couldn't you couldn't be there for me. me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But just giving her those memories, and like she said at the end, like Alice will never stop talking about those two weeks she spent with her grandpa at the yeah. cottage or whatever. It was like you gave that to my kid. Yeah. <clears throat> I also were able to. kind of felt bad for him, too, because he literally told her that he tried to be in contact with her. It was the mo- her mom that was pushing him away <coughs> yeah. and wouldn't let him. No, but so I, I even made like, a comment and mm. was mad about it because I was like, you didn't try hard enough after yeah like, like after i wasn't even living with mom anymore like then then what also yeah if she were to just be like oh he died and he went along with that i'd be like why didn't you just be like no fuck you i didn't die i want to be here for my daughter yeah like, I'm gonna... yeah like stand up for yourself don't let them don't let yeah. them control the narrative yeah yeah like i'm i don't care what you say i'm not dead here i am you just look like a crazy bitch <laughs> I liked Harriet's more because when I listened yeah. to Charlotte, she's just I understood her, but it was just very me, me, me. What about my life? What about my feelings? What about how I'm perceived? What about exactly da, 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 all these things? But it's like you're talking about shit that been, doesn't matter. Yeah, had I been in Charlotte's situ- like situation mm-hmm. in her shoes, I would have been like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm gonna help you steal your daughter, which the only thing I would have been mad about was her not telling you me what she already talked about. Yeah, but then literally yeah. as things unfolded and as I like clicked in my brain mm-hmm. why she was doing the things she was doing, I, that would have completely gone out the window. Like yeah. then I would have had no reservations with it <clears throat> at all. Yeah, even if she would have been like, I didn't tell you because I wanted your genuine, like, genuine reaction Shit, to my yeah. daughter being stolen. Like, well, you like, fucking got it. You got it, baby. Because I was terrified. I thought I lost your kid. <laughs> I thought you were never going to talk to me again. I thought all these different things. Which also, <laughs> not to be like, it still is Charlotte's fault, but it still technically is because had she been watching, watching, been watching her. watching like you said, you would. Maybe she would The dad been. would not have been able to get her. Yeah. Does Angela go into what she thinks about their marriage? I just feel like she just thinks it's like a... It's a normal marriage. It's a normal marriage. She... One of the detectives asks her at the very, very end when they're all... Like, when Charlotte... I don't know. I don't know if it's Charlotte or Harriet that's, like, hiding oh, in Charlotte. the hallway. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she's hearing them, like, they, she's hearing the other officers grill Angela. And they're like, you were in their house. How did you not see. even notice? And she's like, I didn't. I didn't notice. Because, like, that's very much... Yeah. What Harriet was trying to explain to everyone, too. She's like, he set it up in a way that nobody would ever question what he was doing. So It was just very much in passing little comments about yeah. my silly little wife that forgets <clears throat> things and has to go to the doctor sometimes. It mm-hmm. wasn't, mm-hmm. oh, my wife's a bitch and she forgets it. It's just... It wasn't him yeah. yelling at her or, like, there's marks on her or anything like that. It wasn't anything, like, you could literally see. Yeah. I feel like he liked it because it was his tool to be like, mm. oh my god, he could have dropped the phone in the tub or... Yeah. Those things where it's like, what do you mean? She told you not to go on a walk and you still went on a walk. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not listening. Um, But had I been hearing it, I would have literally turned to Angela and been like, didn't you tell me I should go on a walk? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, didn't you just tell me that? Because he's telling me I shouldn't know. Literally, the those were those little things <clears throat> were some of the reasons that I got frustrated with Harriet because I was like, if you don't just say or ask somebody who's literally been in your house what to tell the truth as yeah. you saw it, like, please. <laughs> Just imagine that Harriet was crazy and Brian was just protecting her. Oh, hold on. I thought that's actually how it was going to end at some point because the very ending when uh, Harriet asks Alice, what do you want to eat for dinner? And okay. she's like, pizza. And she and Harriet goes, didn't we have pizza yesterday? I thought Alice was going to be like, no, we didn't. Like, what are you talking about? No, we didn't. And I, that for me was going to be like, oh, she was crazy. Like, yeah, that would have settled it for me. I oh. thought that's how it was gonna end for a second. I was a little nervous. I didn't know that. But no, I would have lost my shit. I would have just, if I was Alice or not Alice, if I was here, I'd be like, kill myself, cause I, <laughs> <laughs> I'm clearly gone crazy. I'm insane. <laughs> and then your two children, what? Your dad Sorry. is dead. Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> God. Now you got five kids. <gasps> Watch my kids like kill myself really quick. <laughs> oh my god, Mia! <laughs> Sorry. That's fucked up. I'm gonna hate you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I think Audrey's her closer friend just because they have that very shallow, fake, deep relationship. Yeah. 
And that sounds so ugly, but they just... Everything they talk about is very surface level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's not so much like this is what happened to my child that it was fucked up, you know? Yeah, because even Andre doesn't know. Yeah. Right? No. Okay. She didn't tell her the truth. Which, uh, obviously, you can't tell other people that. Yeah. Well, no, no, I mean about, um, about Charlotte's... Oh, dad? Abusive father, yeah. No. She, yeah, okay. I thought Tom was a good father. Tom? Yeah, Charlotte's ex-husband. I feel like all the dads were just just very selfish like a dad is. In the sense of even Tom, when Charlotte was like, can you wash the kids? Oh, okay, He was like, I have to do this thing at work. And I was just wondering, because it came up last minute, it's like, no, I've been telling you I wanted to go out and say your kids. Yeah, like you're trying to guilt trip me, and you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Um, Brian just... Brian didn't even like his kid. Didn't even really care for his fucking kid. It was yeah. just all about controlling his life. Yeah. And Les, which I get why he had to leave, it was just one of those things where it's like, you left me and you know that she loves me a lot, but it still was very damaging to yeah. be loved that much. Like, yeah. I can't be everything for my mother and I was. Mm-hmm. And you didn't fight that hard. Like, my mom said you were dead and you were like, fuck it, I guess I'm dead guess and I'm disappeared. Dead. And you didn't fight it, yeah. Whereas... Harriet was like, I'm going to go above and beyond for my child, and this is my happiness, and this is... Yep. I'm going to... I'm seven months, seven months, seven weeks pregnant, and I'm going to save this other child from this man, because there's no way I'd be able to leave with my other, like, my other daughter, my two kids. Yeah. There's I no think way. literally what it boils down to is that women always got to do shit around here. Like, I'm never going to... I can't depend yeah. on anyone else to do shit. I got to do it myself. Yeah. Like, there's... Fathers and mothers are not comparable, unless it's a single father, and he just, like, goes above and beyond to be a mother then he's a mother then he, that, that's a mother literally um i only the only reason i said that i didn't mind tom as a parent i thought he was a good dad because i think one of the passages said she or he tells charlotte that at the end of the day that you're still my the mother of my children and i will do anything you need yeah and everything and anything the kids need and stuff like that which is like i guess that's kind of bare minimum though like, I would expect you like, of course. to do that. Of yeah. course you're going to do everything for your kids. You have to. You have to. You, you are do. their father. They don't, and not to be like, they don't live with you, but they don't live with you. They live with me. I'm with them majority of, of the, the time. time. And when you come over to watch them, Once. I do expect you to do whatever to do they it. need. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Very true. Yeah. I agree. Brian almost had me for a second. I'll tell you that. I thought she was a little crazy. It's valid, but I feel like early on she was just like, no, I don't, even the, from the toast thing, from the beginning, she was just like, that's not what I did, so I just was like, no, he's evil. Something's wrong with him. He's yeah. being very evil, and she's obviously just wanting to leave, and then I feel like at that point, oh, with the whole iPad thing, sorry, or the phone thing, when he, his iPad was, was there. charging? Uh, okay. At first, I thought he had it there so he could listen to what she was doing. Me too. Or record her or, record or something. Her. Yeah, Anything. me too. I was like, he's going to find out where her notebook is. Yeah. That's what I thought he was trying to do. Mm-hmm. But then when he was like, oh, your phone was on there, silly, I was like, no, the fuck it wasn't. Harriet's, Harriet stole her own daughter to get away from this. I never even thought about that. I, that never even crossed my mind. I just thought, unfortunately, she was taken. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That is so crazy to me. I, when did I say, or when I literally told you my comment when I was like, Alice being four and Harriet had never left her daughter with anyone before. I literally said, wow, this is so fucking crazy. I wouldn't be surprised if the mom was in on it, but let me keep that to myself. Oh, no, I didn't get that Yeah, and that was on page 17. Mm. How fucked up would it have been if, uh, Harriet thought that her dad took Alice, but it was just some other random person that took Alice. I thought that that happened at one point when she couldn't find them at the Me little too. thingy. I thought somebody had, like, gone to them or something, yeah. Or he wasn't, he wasn't answering. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, that would have been even more fucked up. Which, I was kind of mad at the dad because when he answered the phone the second time, and it was Brian, and he was like, hi, Harriet, Harriet is that you? Alice was doing it or not? I wouldn't have said Let anything. me say something first, dad. Literally, like, how do you know it's me? What if someone just randomly called you, and then all of a sudden <laughs> you just... I wonder who they were talking to. Let me redial. No! No, but, but I know what you're talking, like, about. What you're talking about. The fucking dad What if his away. friend, his cousin or whatever was like, hey, what's up? Yeah. You have that kid? 911. 
999. He has a kid. That's what I'm saying. Oh, and when Charlotte was looking for Alice, uh-huh. she looks for like 20 minutes. I feel like I would have been <gasps> up and down tear that down, shit. Tear down these Tearing fucking Tearing down everything. Tents, everything. We're like, pack it up. Pack it up. We're putting everything yeah. away. And when Audrey was like, just sit down. And she did. I would have been. I would have been like. sit down. No, I'm not going to fucking sit down. I'm, I lost my best friend's kid. I'm going to be up and I'm going to be looking under every crevice that this child could be. Lift the fucking dirt. Remove the grass. <laughs> like. We, I need to see. I'm not going to remove the grass because I know the kid's not in the grass. I'm going to be How looking for the kid. Know? I'm going to be looking for the kid not be. <laughs> Plausible explanations for where the kid be. How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> well, Alyssa's kid is going to be under the dirt. <laughs> if everything goes missing, look up the dirt. Oh, <laughs> well, Alyssa's baby. kid, it's in hell. That's why. Oh, my God. <laughs> you're evil. I forget thank you. Imagine we're missing a child. <laughs> this bitch starts digging. <laughs> <laughs> he must be under here. <laughs> you said that. You did. I know. But oh. watching you, <laughs> watch you dig. Animal Crossing. Oh, oh my fucked up shovel. Oh. I built the shovel out of the leaves. <laughs> he just wanted control. Yeah, he just wanted to control her. I actually thought that they were going to give him kind of like a whole, oh, pity me, like that's why I do this kind of thing. When they were talking about like how he doesn't swim because of something happened that happened when he was a kid. Or something like that? Yeah, he almost drowned. Yeah, I thought they were going to go into more, like, that, but also, like, I'm like this because my parents were, like, whatever. I thought they were going to give him a little pity. They did! Like, well, they did. Yes! He drowned as a kid and the mom wasn't paying attention. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> but I thought that wasn't enough for me, <laughs> to be honest. This no, 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 baby. No, hold on, <laughs> to justify his behavior. Oh, being fucked I mean. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even like being scared of the water. I was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> you almost drowned. No, like, I thought they were going to go into more, like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, he's fucked up because of because this. Because of this, like, that's why he's doing this. Like, no. But I'm glad they didn't do that, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Now, that's having no sympathy for Brian. I hate Brian. He's probably a Pisces. Okay? But we were like, oh. <laughs> Don't talk to me right now. <laughs> Disgusting man. We were like, he's a good husband. <laughs> okay, but I don't know. Also, another master manipulator, if you think about it. Paul? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, no yeah, obviously, yeah. 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 We talked about that. You know, I know, like, but... <laughs> It was out of I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. I'm just bringing it up. I'm just, you know, it's same, same, but not really. All of it. All of it is gaslighting. He was evil. He was evil. And not in a girl boss way. He was no, just he was gaslighting not, in an evil yeah. way, in a man way. In a man way, which is never good. <sighs> yeah. All, all, what do you mean to what? Like, who wrote this question? Because <laughs> <laughs> he made me seem like he loved her so much that... The beginning, yeah, the beginning of the book, I thought he was just someone that was a little too smothering with their love, yeah. which I was like, maybe that's, very, his, maybe maybe that's yeah. just his only flaw. And then when they brought up his mom, it was like, oh, he just wasn't loved enough, so he just like wants to love on Extra her. love, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But no, when they brought up their wedding night. Oh, yeah. Then I was like, fuck this, fuck man. this man. Well, I was yeah. like, fuck this man before, but I, then mm-hmm. I was like, mm-hmm. fuck this man. Mm-hmm. Oh, I believed her right when she, she said she had the book. Yeah, she wrote down every <clears throat> like the every little detail of it too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel like when she's just being in that mindset and being like, I have to remember, I have to remember what happened, I have to remember what I actually said and what he said. Because mm-hmm. again, it would be very easy for someone to make me think that I'm losing my mind. Because mm-hmm. if someone was like, Oh, you forgot to turn the toaster on, or you forgot to take off, yeah, unplug your to phone, unplug it. yeah, I'd be like, I'd be like, maybe I did. Shit, I forgot. <clears throat> yeah. But then also, like, I just feel like I freak out and check things, like, a million times anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't really under- not that I didn't understand it, because women just be feeling 
mm-hmm. sad for men. Mm-hmm. But when he said he couldn't, so my, I don't think my first thing would have been like, I can't either. Yeah, Commit to, to make him, him. Commit, yeah, I would have been there. I'm like, I can teach you. <laughs> I know how to swim. But I'm glad she did it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was her, that was literally the only thing that she kept from him. Well, I guess the fact that her dad was alive, but those two small things yeah but then her. like she said when she was saying um i can't introduce you to my husband because he's already trying to make me feel like i'm crazy and i told him you were dead mm-hmm. so imagine my dad just shows up my oh, husband's gonna yeah. literally be beat like my ass not beat her ass <coughs> probably but... though no <laughs> what it what <laughs> probably though he probably no, would no but i meant like he's just like she said gonna have a field day and be like well your dad's been alive this whole time and you thought he was dead you're crazy Doctor, mm-hmm. please give her some pills. Oh yeah, I thought I thought of it more in the sense that like because he already got violent with her at the end, where he was like pulling on her and stuff like that. I feel like that might have also sped up the process and been like you deliberately lied to me about yeah. one of these things. Like I'm gonna beat your ass and gaslight the shit out of you. I'm gonna say Harriet. Okay. Just okay. I feel okay. like her one mistake being <clears throat> the reason her dad died. I don't know why. What do you mean? Her one mistake? Just because she, like, got him. Not that she, he had to be involved, obviously, for this whole plan to work. Uh-huh. But I just feel like the way she went about it wasn't as meticulously planned as she thought it was. Mm-hmm. It was very just put together, and I want it to be <clears throat> out. She had no savings, no nothing, which I know that in that situation it's hard, but every little bit that my husband does give me, I'm going to figure out a way to, to make it. it work and save some money because I know that I'm going to need an escape plan. Mm-hmm. And then, just like, I don't know, just throwing her dad in that without really thinking about the consequences was her fuck up. Because even to the end, she's saying, damn, Alice misses her grandpa because she had two perfect weeks with him and then all of a sudden he's gone. I just got my dad back and we had a great father-daughter relationship and then he's gone. Mm -hmm. Like, other than that, she didn't make a mistake. Like, she left Brian when she needed to leave Brian because she was going to have another kid. Mm Mm-hmm. Charlotte was just a fucking bitch, but <laughs> she didn't lose Alice. Like, she, she didn't, didn't... Yeah. There was... Even when she was wrong, and I didn't know that Harriet took Alice, I still was like, Charlotte doesn't deserve all the hate she's getting, because yeah. she didn't really make a mistake. Like, yeah, looking at your phone, but who but doesn't, who doesn't do look that? at their phone? Yeah, who yeah. doesn't look at their phone? Like, you want to just yeah. be a bitch? I can see the jungle run. I had my other kid with me. I, I thought everything was okay. Yeah. And we were at the school fair. It's not like we were at a park. It's not like we were at... In, like, a public... It was, like, pu- fenced yeah. in and parents were in here. This was at the school. Yeah. Yeah. Like... I thought it might have referred to her decision to be with Brian. Mm. Because it reminded me of when he... She tells him... She lies to him and says, I can't swim either. And this next passage says, Brian had stopped packing away the food and turned to her. He cupped her face in his hands and with a serious look told her, I am now absolutely certain that we're right for each other. This Mm. made me think he knew she was lying, but appeased to him anyways. And he was like, I like that. I got her. Yeah. Yeah. That's Mm. what I thought he was like. I got her. Like, I'm going to be able to get her to do anything. Yeah. Ooh, I thought it was referring to that. That's good. I didn't even think of that, but you're right. And then immediately after that, she was like, I would have to give up swimming, but what's swimming what's to swimming? the love of my life? Or Literally. But it was like, this is the one thing you love doing, and you do it very often, and you're giving that up for this person, when she didn't really have to. She could. No. She didn't have to do that She didn't have him. to tell him that she couldn't swim, but, yeah, I mean, You sacrifice things for people that you love, I guess. That's crazy. No, your her one mistake makes so much more sense than me, but I just feel like her one regret through it all was losing her dad. Mm Mm-hmm. But, no, no, that does make sense. That's a good question. Go. Because I actually don't know why she helped. No, no, no. I'm lying now because I think I just realized it. I feel like she helped her... To make herself feel better. It wasn't necessarily to help her friend. Because even at the end, she's still being like, why did you do this to, to me? me? Yeah. My mindset would have been completely different from where Charlotte's was once mm. she found out everything. Once, yeah, I would have been pissed off. I would have had every right to be pissed off. But once Harriet made that phone call, I was like, I need, need your you. help. Mm. I took my daughter. I, first of all, I'd be like, Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, Hold on. Why? Okay. Why? And she's just like, I need you to believe me. Like, my dad took your daughter. Da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. 
as soon as she would have said to get away from him, I, I would have immediately like, known. Oh, fuck, okay. I would have been like, okay, That's what right. are we doing? What do we have to do? What like, do? where do you do? need me right now? What is the story that we're coming up with? I need everything. Like, I need to know things now. Yeah. You can't keep me in the dark. Yeah. But I would have been to Charlotte's defense. I also would have been feeling so many emotions, too, because mm. I would have been like, holy shit, she's not really gone. Like, she's actually okay. Like, oh, she I wasn't am mad. really gone. And then now you're thinking she is gone. Because at that point, she was like, yeah, oh, she's gone. And like, she's so- gone. Like, <gasps> I thought she was gone this whole time, bitch. Like, yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Even after all of that, at the end, she was just like, I want to tell Audrey what happened. Like, I'm still being, like, punished for this. Even, like, nobody knows the truth. Yeah. Harriet's painted as the, like, stigel. Oh, a victim! Hold on, I made a note about that. She is a fucking victim. Literally! She says, instead, she she had to sit back and accept that she'd played a part in turning Harriet into the victim. I said... Harriet knows for a fact that she's also a victim talking about Charlotte Mm -hmm. because of what she did to her. She's annoying me because I get that she's mad, but not everything is about you, Miss Girl. Truly. That's literally the only thing I've been in. I was like, she was a fucking victim, first of all. Truly, because me trying to get away from my abusive husband has nothing to do with you. I'm sorry that you were put in it. Yeah. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about it. I'm sorry I couldn't trust you enough for that. Mm Mm-hmm. But it has nothing to do with you, so shut the fuck up. Literally shut the fuck up. Because, again, had she had two kids, she wouldn't have been able to leave. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, it would have been a done deal, especially because it was a boy. Mm-hmm. She didn't know mm-hmm. it at the time, but specifically because it was a boy. Yeah, and he found her so quickly. The first, like, he, he mm-hmm. found her. Like, her exit plan didn't work. She had to murder this man. Literally. And she's, she's not guilty. She's justified in it. No, and yeah. she, no. Who cares? Uh, no. I don't give a Shut fuck. Up. He was evil. Literally. He to be dead. Oh, you asked who asked these questions at the bottom. It says questions issued by the publisher. <laughs> Well, number whatever that number was. Publisher, you're wrong. Why'd you ask this? What was the question even when I was at group? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, the gaslighting question. Oh, this question. To what extent? Ah, oh, what do you mean? These questions were written by men. That was asked by men. It was all gaslighting. It was all gaslighting. Baby. What? Why is your sock black? <gasps> My sock is black? Yeah, you don't see it? No. It's yeah. literally right there. I will fucking beat your ass. Oh my god. Oh my, she's tried gaslighting. Gaslighting 101. <laughs> it's not black. Don't put your foot down. There's you gotta pay for those. It. There's a sock on it. Who cares? Oh, hold on. There's <coughs> one last comment about this book. Which one? When the fact that they didn't find Brian's body actually gave me a little bit of anxiety. I thought he was gonna pop up in the one year later little meeting. Me too. I was like, guess who, bitch? Bang, bang, bang. And then I thought Charlotte was gonna redeem herself, but again, she didn't. She didn't. And Brian could be out there, and she could be writing a part one missing part two. Oh my god. (laughs) (laughs) Literally, literally, if there's a part two, that'd be crazy. And Brian's alive! It doesn't need a part two. It doesn't. Definitely not. But if she did, I would read it, because if Brian was alive... Yeah. Yeah. And then we see that scene of him. We see that scene. But, you know, we read the scene of him getting out the fucking ocean. Literally. He's like, I survived. First of all, I don't know how because he can't swim. But what if he lied what? about knowing he was swimming? Too? What if after he drowned and he I was a baby, like- he's like, I got to learn to swim or I'm going to die this way. Ending conclusion is, fuck you, Charlotte. I thought you were going to be a good friend. I thought you were going to be there for your Bestie, best friend but you weren't at the end you were just looking out for yourself like you were doing from the beginning so fuck you it was, still was always all about you 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 yeah harriet baby girl boss girl boss but i just feel like you made me frustrated a little bit you did but. make me frustrated a little bit but your her reasoning behind mm-hmm. not going crazy stupid made a lot of sense because she was already they convinced her she was crazy stupid not they but brian the doctor yeah. whatever did convince her that she was crazy so I would have been like, fuck, I can't just be crazy. Yeah. Because then he's going to be like, Juicy. Alice, come on, you're coming with me. Yeah. Come your dad. Um, Les, I love you, RIP. He deserved to live. Oh, yeah. He did deserve to live. And the that way he sad. died was fucked up. Like, yeah, that was sad. <sighs> Which, I always think I have superhuman strength. Oh, okay? me too. I was expecting her to go crazy stupid. Had I saw that man beating up my dad, I would have 
anything. Like, you had to use anything to your advantage. This man is strangling her dad. On I'm the beach. grabbing a rock and smashing your head. I'm grabbing your balls and squeezing them until they're oh. literally, like, nothing. <laughs> until they're just mush, like, like, freaking ground beef. I don't care. I'm killing this man. Like, yeah. or I'm hurting you enough to back off my dad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hurting you enough so that my dad can get away. I was yeah. also, it, uh oh, Jumping it was, on you, sticking my thumbs in your eyes. Like, I'm doing a bunch of shit. I'm literally sticking my thumb in your eye. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me, I was, I was, yeah. I was mad she didn't do anything, but stood there crying, saying, please don't. Like, please don't. Like, you know how evil this man is. I'm going. I'm jumping. I don't even care. No thoughts. No just pounding this man. Rage. <laughs> literally. Just red. Red. Literally. Sorry, I was looking away because I'm about to murder your father. <laughs> Sorry for the trauma, but I'll explain later. I feel like this is my number one spot for the book that I read this month. Really? Over Pretty Girls. Wow. And it's just because I liked Pretty Girls and I did want to keep reading and I wanted to know what happened and all the other stuff that entails with that book. But her one mistake, I, I just feel like I just needed to keep reading even more so. And like you were saying, how the then and now were just coming together yeah it was just very well written and I just liked the way that I was finding things out but there was things that I knew and I knew one person's perspective but then I was getting another person's perspective Mm -hmm. I just I liked that yeah it was good it was good for my little brain and then she was gone I liked it I liked it more the first time I read it but then rereading it it was Mm -hmm. just one of those things where it's like it could have been better. Mm-hmm. You could have given me more. It did kind of drag on. And this is like no hey, I, I have to keep telling myself like just because I have an opinion of not liking it doesn't mean the million people that recommended it. Loved it. Yeah, yeah. they loved it. Like it doesn't <clears throat> matter what the fuck I have to say and I'm mm-hmm. not shitting on any of the writing because I did enjoy the story. Mm-hmm. But it could have been better had the writing been a little bit different mm-hmm. and had the story been tweaked a little bit and maybe I would have enjoyed it. But it just... Fell short. It fell short, yeah. Yeah. It fell short compared to these other, especially after reading her one mistake, I'm like, Whoa. They did do that where they told you what happened, but they you still but they still kept you intrigued. Yeah. yeah. For the latter half of Then She Was Gone, I just was reading through the book to get through the book. Okay. I yeah. wasn't Which is fair. Yeah, I wasn't intrigued anymore. It was just it was kinda like the book is over mm-hmm. and I know what's happening Thanks. and so yeah. Why am I still reading, actually? Because why is there 300 pages left? I'm Literally. <laughs> when you told us everything that happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, in order for me, it's Pretty Girls, Her One Mistake, and then she was gone. Have why is Pretty Girls above Her One Mistake? Oh, I don't... That book, I just remember feeling... Not that I didn't feel anxiety with this book or anything. I just... That book... She gave me a little, she had me a little scared at some point. <laughs> she had me very intrigued. I'm yeah. definitely a page turner. Um, I don't know. I just think that that book gave me just the tiniest bit more of okay. like anxiety. Which is it. very valid. And it was just a completely different situation. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where like obviously that one's more fucked up and <laughs> more scary and all these yeah. things. Like oh, that's very valid. Mm hmm. I don't know why her one mistake just it felt it nicer for, for me to read. Like just mm-hmm. I don't know, but I pretty girls was crazy and I liked it. Paul, if you're listening, he's and not we listening. know that he's you dead. are. He's dead. Please, or is he? Stop. You'll have to tune in next year to see what next month's theme is going to be because I actually don't know and I meant to ask you about that, but <laughs> we don't know yet. So, oh, no, so- scratch that. January's books next year. We're starting next year off with, with fucked up marriages. That's what's the subgenre. I think the genre is just thriller. Thriller. Okay, we're gonna mainly stick to thriller because that's who we are. I feel like all of us are thriller, thriller subgenre, thriller. fucked up marriages, subgenre, missing girls, subgenre, clowns. Oh, <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want that either. But you know what I mean. We just January seventh. The beginning of the new year, that's when our next upload will be. I hope everybody has an amazing Christmas, an amazing new year. Shout out Christmas, shout out New Year's, <laughs> shout out Jesus. <laughs> Mer- Mer- I was gonna say Merry Christmas, Jesus, Happy Birthday, Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next year. And it's Happy Birthday, Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Merry Christmas, Jesus. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>